Hey everyone, the Flying Holicha here. And finally, 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 it's arrived. This one right here that you see took forever. All I can say is it wasn't lost in a post, but it was. Now, I'm talk not talking about this one. I'm talking about the one I had before. Now, I bought it from a seller. I think I paid like 50 quid. No, I paid like £45 pound or something. But uh, what happened was I wanted it Collect Plus. Uh... I wanted it delivered to uh, the post office instead of my house because stuff that gets, you know, delivered to my house but it can't fit through the letterbox, they uh, class it as a we came but, you you know, you, you weren't there to receive it. So then they leave like a little red card, I have to go to delivery office, you know, I have to travel a long way to go to delivery office to flip in, you know, to actually receive it. But uh, usually collect plus, I go to my post office and I collect it from there. But the stupid seller, I mean buyer, had never even heard of Collect Plus, and they put the uh, post office's address on it. They put the address on it, and they didn't add like a little ten-digit number, which basically it notifies the uh, the post office. No, it notifies eBay. So the post office scan it. Uh, they add the number that lets eBay know that the item has in fact arrived, and then eBay notify me to tell me that your item is now in a post office. So they never added the 10-digit number. The post office received it, turned it down, sent it back. But because it didn't have the uh, buyer's uh, return address on it, they've apparently destroyed it. Because it hasn't, you know, met the criteria of the delivery and receiving it to the buyer. They destroyed it, apparently. So I was never, ever going to get that back. So the uh, eBay refunded me. The seller was being bitchy about it. But the uh, eBay refunded me. The seller missed out. I I missed out, but I still got my money back. But, uh, yeah, thankfully, I have it now. But it kept coming up on eBay, and then someone actually had it, but the information sheet on the back uh, was missing. And so I didn't want it. So someone bought it anyway, but I was like, screw it. If it hasn't got the information sheet, then I don't want it. But uh, what happened, like, Ages, ages after that, uh, people were sending the Ultimate Edition, which I'll show you a clip of the Ultimate Edition in a, in a minute from UK Anime Network. He's the only guy that's pretty much unboxed it, you know. It's a good unboxing because he, he, he pretty, pretty much does that on his channel. But uh, I think he's working for some company or shit, I don't know. But uh, the Ultimate Edition was a failure. Put it that way, it was a box... And the artwork was plain as hell. The artwork on this is brilliant, by the way. I really love this artwork. But uh, the one in the Ultimate Edition was just him and her. I don't know their names because I didn't watch the anime. And the rest of the box was just plain. It was plain as hell. Very dull. The actual booklet that came with it was shit. It was just an art booklet with, you know, pictures from the anime, really. It was, it was trash. It had no information, no uh, direct interviews, none of that. No information about the characters whatsoever. It was like a book, like a hardback book, making it the Ultimate Edition, because every Ultimate Edition has a hardback book, uh, apart from uh, Giovanni's Island. That is a paper one. Uh, I think Wall Street has a paper one. But they're still really big ones. They're really big art books. So, uh, you know, if they're, like, really big and they have loads of pages, then that's pretty much in uh, all the anime's eyes class as an Ultimate Edition. But, uh... Yeah, if it's, if it's, like, really big, so from here to about thick in there, you know, big art book, then they, yeah, every Ultimate Edition has one, basic, every single one does. But, uh, yeah, the Ultimate Edition shit, it has no art cards, no posters, no nothing. I mean, the B, the beginning, had a CD that came with it. Giovanni's Island has, a, like, a little thing telling you how many numbers, uh, you know, what number uh, edition you have. Uh, it was, yeah, it's really good, the Giovanni's, uh, it's very cheap now, you can get it for like 10, 20 quid, but, uh, I, yeah, the box is really big as well, it's about the same size as the Escaflone one, but I forgive Escaflone due to the fact that there's so much stuff in it, you know, CDs, as digipacks, it looks really, really darn good, as the movie, be the, uh, flipping Full Metal Panic, it's just an art box, with the two characters on the front, the art shit, and it has a really crap hardback book. 
So it's a very big disappointment. Whereas this has beautiful artwork, info sheet stuck to the back. Whereas the Ultimate Edition had a flipping cellophane, uh, like a shrink wrap around it, and you took the shrink wrap off, threw it away. Just like my season uh, two. Uh, you remember my uh, Sword Art Online? Well, if you buy Alicization brand new and sealed, the information sheet comes loose. So you're going to lose that. But I bought mine brand new. Uh, Sword Art Online War of Underworld I unboxed. The information sheet came loose. Uh, Ordinal Scale. Thankfully, the information sheet stuck to the back, which is great. I like it when it's stuck to the back because you can easily peel them off or keep them on. And yeah, when usually uh, Noain, the one I unboxed, I didn't take the cellophane off. Is it the same? Same as the Ultimate Edition for Full Metal Panic. You take the, uh, the cellophane off, the information sheet is sort of stuck to the cellophane, so when you take it off, it's gone. So, yeah, if you buy it on all the anime's uh, CX's website, Full Metal Panic, I think it's £65, you're going to be missing the information sheet. Also, I'm going to put uh, this away from now. Also, when you actually uh, get the Ultimate Edition, if you look on the back, you don't get the information on the actual Blu-ray cases because all the information is contained uh, on the actual sheet itself. You know, so when the sheet is stuck to the box, that's all the information that tells you about all the seasons. But when you actually get the Blu-ray cases, turn it from the back like you have here. Uh, I'm going to show the information this in a minute because the lighting's not very good, but... Then again, I have like an energy lighting, so it's not going to look brilliant. I don't want it bright in this room. But uh, I prefer orangey because it's sort of relaxing in a way. But <clears throat> yeah, I haven't got natural lighting because I finished work and it's night time outside. So you ain't got the natural lighting. But uh, yeah, you've got all the information sheet on the back here. You've got all the information sheet on here. Unfortunately, you can see the uh, glue has solidified. But if you look very closely, you can actually read what it says. But the glue has solidified. That's happened with a few uh, collector editions that I that I own. But, you know, you can't stop that, really. You know, it's a stupid way all the anime make their things. As long as I can actually read it, you know, that's the main thing. But, yeah, it's not like it's, it's broken or anything. All the anime made it like that, so I can't complain. But uh, it's just annoying that the, the flipping glue solidifies. Sort of like how my Twin Star Exorcist is collector's edition. I couldn't unbox it sealed because when I actually originally got it, the actual glue was on the corner there and it made a big bump. So I had to peel it off. It's piss take. But uh, yeah, thankfully I have the information sheet. I'll show you all of it now. There you go, you can read that. Hold on. Let me get a little bit closer. There you go, you can read all that. See, Full Metal Panic from Mofu. And then Second Raid. People thought the Second Raid was the second season, as it's a second, but it's not. Uh, for season 1 was animated by Studio Gonzo. Season 2, uh, Kyoto Animation took over and made for Mofu. And then uh, Kyoto Animation continued, and they also made the second raid. And then that was it. That was it. There was no movies, no nothing. And then years and years later, I think 2018, uh, Invisible Victory came to light, which is brilliant. People never even knew Invisible Victory was even going to come to light. Uh, Zebek animated that. I'll get around to that in a minute. Uh... Love Hina. I'm going to actually private that unboxing. I did Love Hina because I've got a really limited edition uh, box set coming very soon. You know, the Bandai release. So I'm going to private my old one. If people want to see it, you know, if people want to see it, then just ask me. Get some likes on that video. Over over 15 likes and I'll show it. If not, I won't, I won't show it. So I'm going to private that Love Hina unboxing because I've got a new updated box set coming up very soon. But, uh, but, yeah, I'm so happy to have this. So happy to have this. Uh, I'll show you information on the back of that. So, yeah, there's the extras that you come with it. So, season one, Gonzo. Season two, 
uh, Kyoto Animate Kyoto Animation Season Three Kyoto Animation and Season Four Zebek. So he said Zebek maybe one day might actually continue, but it's been what three years, nearly four years now with twenty twenty two being here. They haven't actually showed any sign of, you know, releasing season five, which is annoying. But if I remember, the ultimate edition just has that. But uh, let me show the ultimate edition right now, okay? I'm going to show you. It's a clip from the UK Anime Network. Him actually taking the cellophane off and showing you uh, the shrink wrap just comes off. He explains a bit as well. But uh, then I'm going to talk a bit more. Then I'll show you the stupid hardback book that comes with it. So here we are. Try and open this thing up. I brought scissors, but now I'm scared to use them because I don't spoil anything. So I suppose I should probably have shown you like the before I take this label off. So uh, all of the labelling here with the BBFC logos and what have you is just on this wraparound sticker. So we have all of the well, all of the usual blurb about what's uh, what's on the discs, of which there are seven, as you can probably see, um, and and so on and so forth. Um, and I'll show you the back properly in a minute. But there you go, sneak peek of the back before I take uh, take the cellophane off. So there we go. With that removed, we now have our, our completely unadorned box, which uh, which is nice. Like I've, I've seen, I've seen criticism of other uh, distributors for not doing, you know, little little, little wraparound cards or, or labels or whatever, um, so that you can have this kind of pure, unadulted artwork without any BBFC logos. And yeah, you know what? Like having seen them like that, then that that's a fair point. Like you still you still get a BBFC logo on the bottom there. So you've got your certificate amongst amongst other things. Uh. So yeah, if that video basically he's just unboxing it. He's he's uh, showing you it just comes off. It's so annoying. It's so annoying that the fact you just take the shrink wrap off and people don't put it inside the box, you know? They don't put it in the box like a normal person would. If it was me and I had the ultimate edition sealed, I would literally just open it from this side here, keep the cellophane on. Uh yeah, you know, see the cellophane's still stuck to this, I'll explain in a minute why. But uh, just cut it down there, and then just take it out like that, and have the cellophane stuck to it. But people aren't that, uh, you know, that clever. They just take it all off like that, information sheet comes off of it, boom, gone. Not stuck to the back like this is, you know. It's literally, you, you saw it in the video, basically, anyway. It's just very, very irritating, the fact that if I was never by the Ultimate Edition, which I don't plan on doing... Because it's shit. It is a big box. It only comes with a hardback book, which is also shit. The artwork is shit. Uh, the Blu-ray cases show no information whatsoever because the information was originally stuck around that thing the guy showed you. So yeah, information sheet's gone. Blu-ray cases don't tell you anything. Maybe if the actual Blu-ray cases showed you information, I would consider buying it, but it's not going to happen. You know, even the guy on eBay selling one for £100... Uh, I said I would take 80 quid for it, but then I, I changed my mind soon afterwards, and he even said, no, I can't take less than 100. I said, screw you then. Every time, I even check from time to time, it says this uh, item's uh, no longer available. Should look at relisted. I tap it, and it comes up five times. I tap relisted five times, and it's still there. You know? It's... The amount of times I have to tap relisted because the amount of times it has relisted. No one's going to buy it. It doesn't even show an actual picture of the product. It says it's brand new and sealed. I very much doubt that. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not paying £100 for a crappy Ultimate Edition that looks shit, you know. It's nowhere near the same standards as uh, Escaflone or Wolf's Rain or <clears throat> Neon Genesis for that matter. But, yeah... That's the information I've already showed you for that one, haven't I? Uh, I'm going to show you for MoFu's information. I've heard that for MoFu, it's usually the people watch first season, then second raid, then Full Metal Panic, Invisible Victory. 
But uh, for Mofu, it was more like people enjoyed it, but it didn't really further the plot. But Kyoto Animation took charge of that. 12 episodes long. Same amount of episodes as a Invisible Victory ad, which I wish it had more episodes of Invisible Victory, but it doesn't, unfortunately. So, yeah. Unfortunately, this doesn't come with any art cards or any booklets, which is annoying, but the artwork on the box pretty much makes up for that. But, it's, yeah, it's a real shame. It's a collector's edition. They couldn't even include anything, but they could have put it... You know, they could have done what... Uh, they could have done what Twin Star Exorcist did and keep all the little booklets inside, but they didn't. This is pretty much identical to the Sword Art Online Season 2 limited edition box. Not the collector's box, the limited edition one that I unboxed on my channel a few months ago. Uh, See, so you get that and then you get standard Blu-rays inside of it. The Season 2 limited one only had a standard box and Blu-rays inside of it like this. With no art cards or booklets, so they pretty much basically copied the season two limited box and said you know what we'll do it again for this so but yeah let me show you the information once again you know lighting's pretty orangey in this room so it's gonna go blurry for a bit there we go this one has 13 episodes including zero and the ova so it must be 15 episodes really if you're counting those two. Contains strong violence, strong language, sexualized nudity, sex references. So, yeah. You can read that, can't you? Yeah. Sorry for the lighting, like I said. Finish work late. I just haven't got the natural lighting from outside, so... I'm going to show you the discs. Firstly, we'll start with season one. There you go. Episodes one to... One to what? Eight, is that? One to eight. And we got... Nine to sixteen? What? Oh, yeah, because it's season one. It has loads of episodes, didn't it? And then that one is... 17 to 24 because all the other ones have less episodes but uh that came out in 2002 that's mad that is so old but uh this came out in 2003 i think i'm pretty sure it did but this was animated by kyoto you know kyoto animation this came out in 2003 if i'm not mistaken episodes one to eight 9 to 12. And then Second Raid also came out by Kyoto Animation. All the discs are pretty much the same. Except they've got a few little different artworks on the back. Too dark to really see. Uh, 1 to 9. And 10 to 13, including the two OVAs. So that is the first season out of the way. I'm now going to show you another uh, sh short clip from a uh, UK Anime Network showing you the hardback booklet. Even he says it's pretty disappointing, but that's that's flipping all the anime for you. They probably couldn't afford to pay for more stuff, really, like interviews and whatever, but screw it. You know, you get what you get, but here it is. In your Ultimate Edition, you've got to have other stuff as well, and that's where this comes in. This is the Full Metal Panic Ultimate Art Book. Um, which uh, contains basically all of the art and, and stuff that Anime Limited could get their hands on uh, surrounding the series. Um, so, show the spine, in case you want to have a look at that. And then on the back we have a kind of nifty little Lego thing. Um, but if we crack this open... Um, Get through all the black pages at the back and at the, at the front. Uh, so we have a, a whole bunch of stuff about the, the various uh, mecha in the show. We have some character stuff and we have an art gallery. So just flip through very briefly. We have a bunch of, of design details and images of uh, the various uh, arm slaves that are within the series. Um, together with kind of a, a note of uh, what series they appear in and all, all that kind of stuff. 
a whole bunch of stuff about their weapons and so on and so forth. So it goes it goes in pretty deep on all the kind of mechanical design of the series. So if if you're a big mecha fan, which admittedly I'm not hugely, like it's often the least interesting part. Like I like mecha shows that aren't about the mecha <laughs> for the most part. But so uh, you know this is this is kind of kind of cool to see. Um, and there's some, some really nice illustrations in here that, that kind of dig deep on these uh, these particular elements of the show. And then of course we get into character designs. So we've got this guy here, we've got Kaname, and uh, there's a whole bunch of, of artwork and uh, illustrations and, and design stuff, and, and all, all the usual sort of character profile art that, that you might expect. And so we can flip through a whole bunch of that. And there is plenty of that to, to go with. And then we come to some of the, the other gallery stuff, which is more just general kind of design work in terms of locations and backgrounds, um, key visuals, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, not the most not the most fascinating of art books, like in terms of, uh, you know, there, there's no sort of interviews or, or stuff like that. But, you know, that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of how it goes, you know. There's, uh, I, I don't think there is a whole lot of that kind of content available, which, uh, which is a shame because, you know, it's. Uh, I, I have read other things that Shoji Gato has uh, has participated in, and he seems like kind of an interesting guy who uh, who's, uh, who's, uh, seems seems like a lot of fun. Um, so, like some some stuff with him would have been nice, but you know, you can't include things here that don't exist, which is a shame. Um, but uh, yeah. Okay, so with. The Full Metal Panic Season 1, 2 and 3 out of the way, we can now unbox Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory. Now, I bought this at the exact same time that I uh, bought the uh, box set from before that never arrived. And I was like, shit, should I get a refund for this? Screw it. Because I got this for £15. Literally, this is going for a hell of a lot more money. I think uh, all the anime had this as part of their Christmas sale when they were selling it for like 25 quid. I got this for £10 less. I got this for flipping £15 on bid, which is amazing. When it arrived, unfortunately, uh, Cellar Fame is sort of coming away. You know, the tiny little bumps at the side. But uh, I've got the Cellar Fame one. It's just they start peeling off and shit, so it's annoying. But, uh... It's irritating. See, look. In that bit there, see, cellophane coming off. Leaving little bumps, but... £15 I paid for this. You know, great price. So the side looks like... Uh, I don't even know if the information she's... Yeah, it's stuck to the back. See, look, cellophane coming away again. See, I, I could put it up like that, but something could come back down again. Show the information. There we go. If you can read that. If that bit isn't flapping and being distracting, I apologise, but... See, this is the uh, season that nobody thought was ever going to happen, but... <laughs> Attains strong violence, bloody images. Oh, bleep strong language. I remember she has, like, some sort of... Uh, her? No, it's her. That's a him, isn't it? Is that her? Looks like a woman. <laughs> Long hair, I suppose. It's a woman. But, uh, yeah, she has some, like, where she goes... Everyone starts clapping her, but she starts swearing. So it's bleeped out. So apparently uh, they bleeped out the swearing. I don't know why, but... Blu-rays usually tend to uncensor things, but what a shame. I've seen the actual uncensored clip, but... Maybe that was cut. I'm um, just people just re, re uploading the cut scene, but it's, it's this bleak. That's that's unfortunate. But brief sexualized nudity. Okay. <laughs> it's also when they've actually put that in. Let it's a space between it where they've. Oh well, but uh, it's still sealed because I didn't want to actually open this until I'm I got you know season one, two, and three. So I'm gonna take that. Uh, I can do that one handed, can't I? Yep. Actually, I'm going to have to put it around the corner, so give me a sec. So I didn't do it sort of the way I wanted, but it doesn't matter. I mean, cellophane's coming away all around here anyway, so with shrink wrap or whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter that's flapping about a bit. Screw it. I'm still not taking it all the way off, though. Because I sort of want to preserve bits of it, you know, stop it getting completely dirty. But, uh, you know, cellophane wrap still, um, I'm going to put that to the side. Would have preferred a dig. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Uh, 
Ah, oh, brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh, for God's sake. There's like a little bit of plastic missing. Hold on. Got a little, little bit of plastic broken there. Shit. These stupid Blu-ray keys are so crap in there. I don't know where it's uh, broken from, though. Uh, that's sort of a... Uh, moving a bit. That's irritating. At least it doesn't come all the way off. Uh, how many discs are in this, by the way? Four. I might be able to replace it with another one. I don't know. If I ever get another one, I'll replace it with that, but... Uh, where is it? Let me have a look at something else real quick. Uh, yes! Now, I was, I'm meaning to send this back because they never actually gave me the... Uh, they never gave me the shrink wrap with it, which is annoying. So, I'm going to send that back. So, let me just open this up real quick. You know, screw it. I'm still sending it back. Who cares? You know? So, uh, one minute. There we go. Done. So, I've now switched to Blu-ray cases. This one, I wanted to sleeve with it. I've got, uh, basically, there came with a limit. There was a, used to be one that had a limited edition box. And, you know, season one would be inside of it. But that's highly out of print. You know, you're never, ever going to be able to buy that. The US one's available, but part two for the US one is uh, out of print. So what's the point of getting part one <laughs> with the box? So uh, I'm going to say, I've already told him that the sleeve's missing. I'm now going to tell him that I opened it to check and it's now broken. So, you know, I'm sending it back for a refund anyway. Screw them. But, uh, yeah, because the sleeve's missing. And part one came with a sleeve, but part one, uh, part two didn't, so... Uh, this is what makes it so heavy, this bloody art book, yeah, it's thick and massive. But, uh, now, with a brand new Blu-ray case that is not flipping broken, we can actually open it up. We've got, so it's one to six. Seven to twelve, then we've got extras on one disc, and I suppose the other one's probably a DVD or some shit. And Blu-ray and audio dramas. Uh, yes, it's a CD in it. My audio dramas. No, it's not a CD. It's a uh, what is the audio dramas? Six. What if audio dramas? I don't. I don't know what that is. It's the information. Any uh, the bonus hundred eighty page booklet. Hundred eighty page. Mad. Twenty pages less than the uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, six what if audio dramas, episode commentaries, episode four, five, eight, and five. So it looks like there's like fourteen episodes. Cool. Uh, location scouting videos, even if music video, and bullshit Texas and opening and closing, and a uh, Dolby True HD. As long as it ain't Dolby Digital, but yeah, that's that. Uh, so yeah, it only comes with a booklet, but the booklet is massive. It's it's, it's the same as the uh, American one, I think. But, uh, wow. That's what comes inside of it. There better be info. Character art. Uh, why can't there be information next to the characters? Look, it says their name and sketches. I hate that. I hate it when they do that. See that? Nothing, no information. More sketches. You know, we're going through to this now. Uh, I'm just going to skip a few pages. Look, I'm skipping a few pages because there's so many in there. Oh, God. If this is a 180-page booklet full of artwork, artwork, I'm going to be pissed. I've just skipped, like, four or five pages just there. Oh, God. When are we going to see some information? Please. This is basically just like the Ultimate Edition, isn't it? Except it, I think it has a bit more pages. Oh, God. More artwork, more sketches... 
for info, really. You know, more artwork, fucking artwork, yeah. I think this is actually artwork from the Ultimate Edition as well. No, no, it's it's not because the Ultimate Edition has a series in it, and this is a season four series. So I've heard the animation looks absolutely beautiful, though. What a disappointing art book. I mean, the only thing good about it is the hardback bot uh book. Well, that's about it, really. But yeah, Blu-ray, big bulky hardback art book. The box itself. I've already showed you the info, haven't I? Sorry about that. It does drain the battery filming these videos. But, uh, yeah. Shame it's bleeped out, but... <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I'm going to film it tomorrow because I can't be able to do it now. Uh, my Neon Genesis complete Blu-ray collection. And I'll see you all very soon. Tomorrow, in fact. If you, if you, you know, like my channel. <laughs> see you soon. Flying Halicha. Sure, bye-bye.